Welcome back everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create digital locks that you can use for a digital breakout box or an escape room using Google Forms. This can be done quickly, easily, and for free. All you need is a Google account and some basic knowledge of how to use Forms. Let's get started. Start at forms.google.com or access a brand new form from your Google Drive. Click blank and we're going to go ahead and name it and start a new question. If you're new to making breakout questions or digital locks, I start a lot of times by searching riddles or math riddles and those seem to inspire me into creating my questions. I have a couple loaded up here that I'm going to use for demonstration purposes. So my first question is David's parents have three sons, Snap, Crackle, and what's the name of the third son? In order to create a digital lock out of this question, I have to toggle over to short answer. If you haven't figured it out yet, the answer is David. He's one of the three sons. How do I make that my answer and how do I make it a digital lock? First, I click required. Second, I hit the three dots and I add response validation. Now I can choose these four options. I'm going to choose text and the text that the person enters must contain David. I will also put a custom error message and now the question is ready. My next question will be a math type question. I'm going to hit the plus sign and I've got another one loaded up here. When Lisa was six years old, her sister was half her age. If Lisa is 40 years old today, how old is Lucy? If you haven't figured it out, the answer is 37. But to make this a digital lock, select short answer, make it required, click the three dots, turn on response validation. This time I need a number that is equal to 37. Put your custom error message in and your second lock is complete. For my third digital lock, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to add a new question. I'm going to type how many total squares. I've got an image loaded up that I'm going to add. I'll do that right now. I just grabbed this image from Google and saved it to my hard drive and then uploaded and now the the students have a visual image that they can reference. We go back up to the actual question, we make it required, we add response validation. This time the answer is, if you haven't figured it out, 14 and we can say not quite if they're wrong. And now my digital lockbox is basically complete. Now with all digital lock boxes or digital breakout rooms, we want to reveal some type of information if the student gets all the questions correct. How do I do that? I'm going to click this equals sign, which is adding a section, and I'm just going to title this for simplicity's sake, you win. And In the description, I can reveal some information like the location of a key to escape the room or open the box. And then I'm also going to just add an image of a person crossing the finish line. And now my digital lock box is complete. To send it, we're going to click the send button, select link. This link can be copy and pasted anywhere such as an LMS or a document and I'm even going to show you how to generate your own QR code so that this digital lockbox can be accessed from any mobile device. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and I can paste it anywhere but I'm going to paste it into a new tab to give you a preview of what this digital breakout room looks like. Here's the three locks. Notice I cannot access the secret information until I enter the correct answer. So if I do say pop, which would be the wrong answer, I can't move on. So I'm going to put the correct answer in, correct answer in, correct answer in, and now I can click next and I have now won and escaped the escape room or the opened the digital breakout box. If you go out and find a QR code generator from the Chrome extension store, you can simply generate this QR code and now this um, digital lock box is available from any mobile device. So I could put this in a room and people can access it via their phones. That about wraps up digital breakout rooms. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.